Many people have raised questions that if the twin-engine deck-based fighter jet will be able to use the lifts on the INS we grant. Officials have said that the TED BF has a smaller folded wingspan than the MiG-29K, and the designers of the TED BF are already aware of the aircraft lift dimensions of the INS we grant, and they have confirmed that the TED BF will have a smaller footprint and will be able to fit in storage and lift and can be operated from both INS Wikrand and INS Wikramaditya. The FA-18 has a width of 9.32 meters when its wings are folded, and the indigenous TED BF will have a much lesser width of 7.6 meters. The TED BF also has an overall length of 16.30 meters, which is much lesser than the 18.31 meters of the FA-18. Using the technology is developed and tested for the hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle, the DRDO has started development of two hypersonic weapon systems, that includes a ground-launched long-range hypersonic cruise missile, and an air-launched long-range hypersonic cruise missile, and most of preliminary studies have already been completed. The ground-launched variant will be based on a wave rider configuration with an integral long-burning scramjet combustor. It will feature a solid fuel booster with aero control characteristics to propel the hypersonic cruise missile to the desired speed and angle of attack. After cruising at hypersonic speed, the scramjet engine will stop, and the missile will then use its aerodynamic shaped profile to glide and approach its ground target, and will initiate the acceleration for terminal stage engagement of the land based target at Mach 2 speed. The air-launched variant will also be based on a wave rider configuration with an integral dual-mode ramjet engine for operation in both subsonic and supersonic combustor modes, that will be followed with cruising at hypersonic speed. The RDO's Naval Physical and Oceanographic Laboratory has signed three licensing agreements for transfer of technology with the public sector undertaking Keltron controls, to manufacture and deliver the USHA simulator, that is used for training naval personnel in the operation and maintenance of the submarine sonar suite, the Triton underwater communication system for ships and submarines, and the advanced indigenous distress sonar system for submarines. With the delivery of S-400 system fast approaching in December, the Biden administration will soon need to decide whether to sanction India under the CATSA, as China and Turkey have already been sanctioned. During his recent visit to New Delhi, the Secretary of State Antony Blinken had said that US has its laws, and the US government has also shared the concerns with India, and we will need to see how things evolve in the coming months sanctions would cut off India's critical long-term market for the US defense industry, and would push India back to Moscow as a preferred and reliable source of defense purchases. Sanctions would also weaken a common front like India, that is deterring China's most destabilizing activity in the region. The Indian Air Force chief has concluded his four-day visit to Israel, and the Indian Air Force has said that the Air Chief had very productive meetings with Israel's Ministry of Defense and Israel's Chief of the General Staff on matters of mutual interest, and both sides have decided to boost bilateral defense cooperation and bilateral engagements and interactions. As per latest reports, six Mirage 2000 fighter jets of Indian Air Force will participate in Blue Flag Exercise 2021 with the Israeli Air Force on 17 October. The Indian Army Chief visited Goa Shipyard Limited, where he was briefed on the progress of the advanced fast patrol boats being built for the Army, and he was also taken for sortie on the fast interceptor craft. Goa Shipyard Limited is building 12 advanced fast patrol crafts, and these crafts will be fitted with machine guns and surveillance gear including optical sensors, and will further augment Indian Army's capabilities at Pangong Tso. Indian Navy destroyer INS Kochi and UAE Navy's Corvette Al Dafra participated in the India-UAE Joint Naval Exercise Zayad Talwar 2021 off the coast of Abu Dhabi. 
the ships undertook tactical maneuvers, over-the-horizon targeting, search and rescue and electronic warfare drills. 